In 2000, you were arrested at Newark Airport with $1.4 million worth of liquid cocaine. Mm -hmm. Um, How did you get from the Fugees to that moment? And can you describe and walk us through that moment? Sure. Um, So Fugees, huge success. Mm -hmm. Plaques awarded. I'm being groomed for my solo project, um, which comes out in... 97. You're talking about Poli Sci. Poli Sci. Yeah. Poli Sci. So that comes out. Um, a whole bunch of things happen within the label system. Uh, my, my product manager is, is you know, I don't know if she's fired or um, transitioned the week before the, the, the album comes out. Uh, the short of it is that it's a brick, right? It, it critical uh, acclaim, commercial disappointment, all in all around 80,000 copies sold. So yeah, 80,000 copies now is a huge success. Right, right. Mm-hmm. So the industry has completely changed. <laughs> right, 80,000 copies, you know, after yeah. after the score, after, um, right. after you know, Clef's, uh, you know, Carnival and Staying Alive is a brick. Right. Um, so for me, instead of, so instead of instead of kind of looking in the mirror and, and self-examining, saying, well, you know, what, what, can, what can we do to, to, to right this ship? I didn't look in a mirror mm. at all. Mm. I, I looked everywhere except the mirror, the mirror wow. but the mirror. And I said, you know, everyone around me from, from management, probably down, you know, you know as close to, to flow, mm. failed me, mm. right? In, 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 my, in what would be my, my, my first real disappointment, arguably in life, mm. right? Like mm-hmm. this, this, this brick where somebody's like, well, no, you know what? You're not as talented as you think you are. Mm. You, you, you're not as, as smart. You're not as fly. You're not as dot, dot, dot. Right. Um, and Poli Sci had DMX on it. You know, <laughs> DMX, the, Fat, Joe. Fat Joe. Like, like so, so for me, Poli Sci was like formulaic. I was yeah. like, I'm ticking Production boxes. Production was slick. I'm, yeah. It was good, the video was crazy. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, like we had budgets. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. I'm hundreds of thousands of dollars mm-hmm. like at, at the end of the day, you mm-hmm. know, and I'm showing up to, you know, these studios mm-hmm. at, at, at 10 p.m. But I was supposed to be there at 6 p.m. Mm-hmm. and then not leaving until, you know, maybe. T- so <sighs> thinking that I was thinking that I was, you know, in my in, in my zone, in my mode. Um, but I created that album in a vacuum. Like I created that album in a mm-hmm. vacuum. I didn't, I, I didn't ask many people for, for ears or well, what do you think? I was like, I, I know this is fresh, right? So I just, I brought people in, mm-hmm. but I didn't do too much, too much outreach. Um, so that, you know, that happened. Mm-hmm. And, and I went up to the label and I voiced my frustrations. <laughs> <laughs> in fine fashion. In fine, in fine, in fine eloquent, <laughs> um, un, un, inoffensive fashion. Right. <laughs> um, which, which led to me getting dropped from the label. Mm-hmm. Um, which I thought was, again, divine intervention. I said, that's fine. You want to drop me? That's cool. I, I, I'm, I'm going to do this on my own. You know, and I, I, as I tell this story, I say the universe conspires to help the dreamer, right? It, has a, mm-hmm. it gives you what you want. Um, so that coincided with me meeting an individual who had an operation. Uh, and uh, he said, well, hey, you know, you're connected to a lot of people. Uh, I would love t- for your people to meet my people. And that uh, led to me involving myself in that, in that operation, mm-hmm. um, being a, a middleman, connecting uh, him to, to couriers, mm-hmm. to transport mm-hmm. whatever needed transporter. Um, and that house of cards fell. Uh, mm-hmm. It wasn't me signing up to that to all of a sudden change professions. Mm-hmm. I wasn't like, all right, well right. now, now I'm going to do, I was compartmentalizing and justifying it because I was going into the studio. I was, I, I, I was using whatever I had to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to make this. This is how much your art meant to you. It was, I, I have to create yeah. and, I, and I've got to get this out. So I'm, 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 I'm going to take these risks. Um, and, and I took those risks and, uh, one day at Newark uh, Airport, when I went to pick up two of the couriers, uh, which was something that I'd never done uh, up until that point. I, I, I was, again, I was a middleman. I was hands off. Um, what I didn't realize as I was picking them up was that I was going into a, a controlled delivery. Uh, it was a, it was a sting. Um, they were cooperating with the feds. I had no, I didn't know um, our conversations uh, from the time that, 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 that they were apprehended were recorded. Mm-hmm. Um, and when they picked me up, they just bagged me. Everything, time stood still that day. Um, and then, you know, everything changed. Um, you got sentenced to 14 years. Yeah. 
168 months. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that, for, the, uh, the only the, and, and the reason and it's, it's important. Well, mm-hmm. I say that because that's how it's worded yeah. in, mm-hmm. in in your sentencing. Right. So you've got to do that calculation, you know, kind of Johnny on the spot. Mm-hmm. And, and if you're if you're pretty good with with, with math, you know, mm-hmm. the, the judge doesn't say 14 years. The judge says, you know, you, you, your, your guideline range is 168 months to 210 months. Wow. And so you know, so I was on the bottom. I was on the bottom end of my guideline. What's that like for people who have never faced that? The idea. At this point, you're on the other side of it now. But at this point, what was that like to be like, okay, for at least 14 years, I have to not do what I want to do and I have to have be limited in this way that most people are never going to have to face? What was, was that? How daunting was that? I didn't surrender to the idea of being incarcerated for 14 years until I was probably three and a half to four years into my sentence. Wow. And that was when I'd already, and, and that was when I lost my last appeal mm. because up until you that still point, fighting, fighting, right. Fighting. I remember that I was fighting. Yeah. I mean, you, 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 you're part of that fight, yeah. you know? So, so people reached out and, and letters. And, and so I had people from, from, from the time I, I was sentenced, uh, shout out to Carly Simon, shout out to Carly know, Simon. activating, activating networks on my behalf, mm-hmm. uh, to galvanize, uh, uh, support to, to, to bring me home. But it wasn't until I lost my writ of cert, um, which was, uh, 2255, if I'm not mistaken, uh, mm-hmm. that takes you up to the, the, the Supreme court. I know that somebody would call me out in the comments if I, if I got this wrong. So I, I, I wholly apologize. Um, but it wasn't until I lost my, my 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 writ of cert for the Supreme Court, and I was speaking to my then girlfriend, and and you know she said, you know, did you hear what I said? I said, yeah. You said you said we lost, mm. and she was in tears. She's like, mm-hmm. you know, but I'm on a phone line, and I just heard that mm-hmm. we lost, and that ten other dudes who were waiting to get on the phone to speak to their friends and family. Yeah. So that was that was, and, and at that point, that was like, oh, so my release date is. 2014 wow. right but by that point time what doing time mm-hmm. wasn't new to me mm-hmm. I was I was well into mm-hmm. you know the, the sentence so I had my community mm-hmm. I had a sense of self mm-hmm. um I had my my, my, my programming um they, they, they were things that I, I I was doing in the name of of coming home but what that did what that realization did for me was it fomented a resolve to come home with something to show for Mm -hmm. the time Mm -hmm. I said well if I'm not coming home to 2014 I'm not going to be in the same state or the same condition that I was in 2001 that's right when I entered and that um that coincided with me speaking to Professor Charles Ogletree who was at Harvard who was a mentor to me throughout my incarceration and Professor Ogletree said you know John I want you to apply to Harvard and um I applied to Harvard uh, they did not uh, accept me. Um, and I called up Tree and I said, Tree, you know, I went through the whole process. Like a, a person mm-hmm. came from, mm-hmm. from Harvard to interview me in the visiting room. And, mm-hmm. and we, we did the application and the spring came and m- m- mail call happened. And, it, you know, it was a rejection letter from Harvard. So mm-hmm. I called up Tree and I, I was I was I was floored. And I said, you know, I, I, I did this. I did what you said. And they, they still said no. And uh, and and it was Tree's encouragement that it, no, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep mm-hmm. going. So I applied um, to the London School of Economics and the London School of Economics accepted me. And I, so. I began my 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 you know, degree with them, um, mm-hmm. which would be in, in politics and international relations. Mm-hmm. Um, it was, I really gave a shit about the world mm-hmm. when I was removed from it, when I was told oh, I couldn't wow. participate wow. in it. Get it, call me young, go get it.